Hello friends, today I wanted to discuss about this app which I normally use for scanning purpose. There are many apps in the app store which you can use for scanning but this is the app which I am using since last two years. This video is not sponsored by this app. I personally like this app and that is why I am sharing it with you all. So the name of the app is Scanner Pro. This is a paid app in app store but I personally like it and that is why I am using it. I bought it two years back and I am still using this app. This app is made by Riddle and Riddle has some amazing apps in app store. If you haven't tried, please go ahead and try those apps those are amazingly designed amazingly updated regularly this is one of the app i use by riddle the reason for using this app is one feature which i like the most which i'm going to discuss today so if i open the scanner pro app now supposedly i want to scan this tag let's take this tag and let's try to scan this Now there are many features in this app which will make this document or uh, this photo uh, the way you want it uh, which you can discover by your own but the feature that i want to talk about is let's let's move to that feature first here's the photo and uh, this photo is taken by iphone camera now as you all know when you take photo from iphone camera it's going to be two or three mbs right and i don't want that i always try to save mbs as much as possible because that takes up a lot of storage what i normally do is i take a lot of photos and i keep them on my iphone now when i want to keep this photo in my photos app what I do is I go to share option and then I hit this workflow as you can see save and delete I have made this workflow to suit my requirement as you can see there is this button called add new workflow which will allow you to make your own workflow so that way you can make this workflow which I have made save and delete what it does is it converts this PDF into image reduces the size and saves it into your photos app and that's going to save a lot of MB if you take a lot of pictures which you want to save on your iPhone. So let's go let's hit share and then let's hit save and delete. Just watch this completed and there you go. The document is deleted from the app. It is no longer saved in this app and now let's go to our photos app. And here is that photo which we just took and when you see the size as you can see it's hardly 105 kbs so it's very small compared to photos you take from camera and you get much much better scanning quality with this app so i personally love this app and i use it a lot and i thought of sharing it with you all i hope you guys found this little video useful stay tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one